Hi everyone, this video is to review a couple of things. First of all, you see on the screen that there is a new upgrade, a version 4.2.4, but that is not what this video is about yet. I'm going to make a video and see what that looks like, but right now I'm just going to review um, what has been happening in the past couple of months. I'm going to click on the announcements and click here. We haven't heard anything since June 15th, 2024. And uh, this update or um, article message was just noting that on September 30th, 2024, at Pacific Standard Time, the company plans to officially start FSP trading. So today is, um, you can't see it right there, but it is Friday, September 27th. So that's in about three days that that is going to happen. But again, um, that is not what this video is about. First, before I start saying anything, I am not an owner of this company. I'm not a decision maker of this company. I'm not a board member or executive of this company. I am simply a community member of SCF, just as many of you who are watching this video. Now, some of you who, um, well, let me just put it out there. Some of you may know, some of you, you may not know that we've been kind of on a pause for a couple months and haven't really heard anything since that um, June 15th announcement. So, you know, many may think, oh, nothing's been happening. But let me tell you, there have been things going on in the background. I've been a member of this community for quite some time, not from the start, but I have been in the community for several phases throughout the project and there have been things going on. So I am just going to start off by going to the profit tab and clicking there. So many of you are, you know, wanting to know a what's going on with SCF and a lot of you may want to know what is going on with FSP, especially since on September 30th, they're supposed to be um, listing it and trading uh, will start happening, okay? So the first thing I'll talk about is that, okay? So let's go there, I'm gonna click on there. And just to kind of show you, I did do the donation. I did the donation um, around the time that FSP was worth $1. So if you donate it for a dollar, you received one FSP. And as you can see, I donated or got this much FSP or signed up for through my donation, this much FSP, right? Um, but since that time, its value has grown because instead of just being one for one, it is now, uh, one FSP is 7.1962, okay? So I don't know any other information about that other than I bought it at $1 and now it has gone up in value and so has the value of the amount that I currently am assigned or whatever you wanna call it. So that's the first review. I don't know anything else there is to be said about that than what I just said because I don't have any insider knowledge and we should know more on September 30th. But that's not all for this video, so I'm gonna click on the back button. So because I did donate to the FSP, I have FSP coin dividend. Okay, so I'm gonna click there and you could see here that over some time, my total FSP dividends are equal to 35 point whatever SCF and a little over 2000 worth of, or a little under 2200 worth of FUSD. And as you can see here, I've extracted quite a bit and I still have some left to extract which I will also show you in this video. In fact, let me just do it right now since I'm on this page. 
you click on withdraw dividends, which I will do. And FUSD is the default. You click confirm. You type in your password, which I'm not gonna do on camera. You click okay. And then it is withdrawn. So you see it withdrawn on today's date, this amount and my FUSD is now down to zero. So I can click withdraw dividends again and then click here to select that I want to uh, withdraw SCF and do the same thing. Click confirm, type in my password, and then click OK. And boom, again, if I um, refresh, oh, I'm on the wrong page. <laughs> I pointed out to you guys here, that's just showing how much was issued today. But if I click here on extract records, that's where it actually shows you what you're extracting right now, which coincides with whatever time it is. So let's go back. That was the first thing I wanted to review with you. And just to recap, the review that I'm doing is while we've been on a pause or a while quote unquote, nothing's been going on while we're waiting, while this, this, that, and the third are going on. I just want to point out what is still happening in the app. So I'm going to now click on my mining because like I said, if you were in any part of the project where you purchase nodes or you got converted to nodes or you got SCF in some kind of way, that is being mined, you're gonna click here. And as it populates, you can see that every single day I have been issued SCF. And so on this video, I purposely didn't extract some so that I can click on mining withdrawal and show you in real time that this which is here, I can click extract and it will allow me to put it in my wallet. So I'll click extract, I'll click password and then click okay and it says succeed. So similar to the FSP page, you have everything that was issued to you on this page on the release details, but if you wanna to go to mining record, you can see, I clicked the wrong thing. If you go to mining record, you can see that again, right now at this current time, I'm extracting the SCF that is mined to me. Now it takes a little bit of time, but if I back out of this page, go to my wallet and then go back, it should, say extracting, extraction succeeded. So that's number two, the thing that I wanted to point out to you that while we're on the pause, things are still happening. So number one, the FSP is um, increasing in value. Number two, the FSP coin dividend is being issued daily if you did the FSP donation. Number three, if you are mining SCF because you purchased nodes or you got converted to nodes or anything of that nature, you are able, I mean, you're getting issue SCF every day and you are able to extract it every day. The other thing I want to point out, um, you still have team rewards. I've extracted all mine, so I have none there. Um, minted assets, if you minted anything that shows up on that page, you can scroll down. It gives you still a history of your assets documented right there. Another thing I want to point out, if you did purchase Supernodes way back when, this was really cool. I'm going to click here. So at once upon a time, I, you know, some things didn't seem functional in the app and I was like, oh, well, I don't, I don't know what this means anymore, but when I could click on extract here, I did. If you can see on September 3rd, I extracted my FTH, okay? And this number amount to be withdrawn came down to zero, 
okay? So I was like, well, at least I got the FTH into my wallet, right? So it was zero. I stopped paying attention to it because again, we were on pause. I didn't know what was happening with FTH. I still don't really know what's happening with FTH, but what I do know is that this number after September 3rd, at this time when I extracted all of my FTH, this number was zero and it is now greater than zero, okay? And if I go to my wallet over here and I scroll down and I click on FTH, you can see that on September 3rd, I extracted the amount that I just showed you. Now, prior to that, I was getting FTH a very small amount, you can see. I was getting FTH consistently. This was way back in 2023. And now, as I've just shown you on the screen, I have continued to reaccumulate FTH. Again, I don't know anything about this. I can't answer your questions. I can't answer my own questions, okay? Because like I told you before, I'm just a community member just like you. So all I'm telling you is I'm happy to see that that is accumulating and maybe we will hear some, you know, something about it soon. Maybe we won't. I'm not really sure, but that's all I have to review for you on this page. The other thing that I would like to point out to you um, on the, well, let me just show you the wallet. Um, we've got SCF main, SCF fin, FSU, FTH, FUSD, FSP main, which, which I don't have this thing. What did I just do with my timer thing? Oh, here guys, I got a new phone and, um, I, you know, I haven't put a video out in a while, but this thing, I was just um, kind of playing around looking at the assets here um, and I found this new thing. Now, I told you, I don't have any inf inside information. I don't know what this is. I haven't really been staying in the loop. Um, so if anybody knows um, and they can put that in the comments, let me know, but maybe we'll hear about it on the 30th. I have no idea, but I'm just pointing that out. So we also have FUSD FIN, which um, we haven't really been told what or how that will be used. And then these are the old FTC BEP20s, which um, nobody's used that in a while. Or, or maybe some people did try to cash out at some point with that, but um, that's all for that. Now, I'm going to go over to the browser because like I said, I was going to show in this video that things are still going on. FinPay is still fully active and I'm going to click on that. So as far as I know, we can't use FinPay yet. It's not like released, released. But if you scroll down on this first tab, banks are using it. So what did I say today is uh, September 27th, 2024. And this is the current time here. So if you can see, this transaction was about seven minutes ago. And oh, if I scroll down, you can see the other transactions. If I try to refresh the page, I don't know if it's actually going to refresh. Um, but you can go over to commodities and takes a while, but commodities are there. Um, international trade tab, it takes a while to load. So international trade tab is there. Supply chain is there. And then also, I never made this video, but um, I wanted to, but it's like, okay, nothing's going on. Nobody's gonna wanna hear this, but the, uh, FinPay transaction fee income has surpassed 1 billion. When I first made the video, I was too excited because 
I was just like, oh my gosh, they just dropped thin pay and already the fee income is above a billion, but it was actually only above 1 million. I don't remember the date of that video, but I can truly say to you that this is actually um, above 1 billion because as you can see, there are nine places after the one. So anyway, um, that's another review. So in this video, we have covered, well, I'm going to go backwards. We have covered FinPay is still alive and popping. We have covered that FTH equity is still being issued to those who ever got a piece of that. We have covered that FSP coin dividend is being issued daily. We have covered that the FSP asset value has continued to increase over time and I suspect that it will continue to keep increasing after September 30th and we have covered that the SCF has also continued to be issued through mining daily and that even though we're on a pause, we've been on a pause, things are still happening in the background. So that's all I wanted to let you guys know um, about today um, in this video. The next video that I am going to release right after this one is the actual update pop-up that you saw at the start of this video. I'm gonna click through that and show you guys what the update looks like because I myself do not know. Um, like I said, I don't own this company. I don't have any insider knowledge, but all I do is bring you information. And when something new does come along that you know I know how to do, I post tutorials to help you guys out. So all I wanna say is see you in the next video. Until then.